I want to ask you this question. First of all, we appreciate you being here. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Especially so short after everything has happened. I really appreciate that. But I got to ask you, if somebody's out there looking and they ask this question to you, why are you here right now? Why are you talking about this so soon after your firing? What would the what would the answer to that question be? Because I want people to understand. I mean, I'm I'm human just like anybody else. At the end of the day, I didn't do enough. We didn't do enough to get the job done in Cleveland. So at, what am I supposed to do? I'm not going to go crawl into a hole and say pull the cover up. But I guess back. what I'm asking is, do you believe that what transpired in Cleveland has been is being misrepresented, misconstrued by the public at large? Is it leaking out of the Browns organization, some false reports that you want to address? What's the ultimate incentive? No, the ultimate was to come here today mm -hmm. and answer whatever questions that anybody had mm -hmm. to really kind of set the record straight. Okay. Uh, I think the part about internal discord, I think that was a little much over the top. Mm -hmm. I think it's more to it in my mind than that. I wanted people to know that I'm still the same football coach I was three years ago. But isn't it clear changed. that the owner feels that way when he says what he says? And it's one thing, we usually see a head coach get fired. Mm -hmm. But to fire the head coach and the offensive coordinator, mm -hmm. mentioned the two words, internal discord. Mm -hmm. He's basically saying Hugh Jackson and Todd Haley weren't on the same page. They weren't getting along, and they were jeopardizing the development of our number one overall pick, who happens to be our quarterback in Baker Mayfield. That's what I took from what Haslam said. And I can respect you taking it that way because they did fire us both. But at the same time, I was there every day mm -hmm. and saw it. I gave Todd total autonomy of the offensive football team. I didn't call a play. So that is what it is. At the end, I made a statement after we played Tampa that I wanted to get involved in the offense because I see that it wasn't going in the direction I wanted it to. And I think that was only fair. At the end of this three years, what, if anything, would you do differently about the, your experience in Cleveland? You know, there's a lot of things when I look back on that I would do different. You know, hindsight is, is always important. But as you know, reality in life, you don't live in hindsight. So you have to handle those things as they're happening. But I think when I look back is, first thing, I would not have ever given away the offense. You know, that's what I got hired for. You know, if you're going to go out, you go out doing the things that you know and that you truly believe in. But again, that was a tough spot. You know, when, like I said, when you're 1-15, on 16, and you, you're in a situation where there's been a lot of losing already, I mean, it's tough to make those choices and decisions. Coach, what have you learned about dealing with the media? Because you're sitting here answering questions honestly, um, it seems to me. Mm -hmm. But reports are, and in fact, the way I took some of your comments is, well, he's throwing people under the bus. <laughs> he's making excuses. Yeah. He's, right? How do you, so have you learned anything in terms of how to deal with these media questions? Oh, and there's no question. But I think at the end of the day, you can always be honest and fair. I mean, I want my players to always know I'm honest and fair. And I think to a man uh, there at the Cleveland Browns, they'll tell you that. I don't think... People say that people get thrown under the bus. I am surprised and shocked when people say that. I really don't understand what that means. You know, when you say you're throwing somebody, an organization, or a player, or this or that under the bus, if a player's not doing his job, I think it's your right to say he's not doing his job. If he is doing his job, we praise him. You know, and if they're not, you, you call them out on it. And some guys need it a different way than others. Um, and most of the time, you handle it yourself because you are the head of it all. But at the same time, I do get surprised by so many things that says that I throw uh, people under the bus, different situations under the bus. I think if people go, will really go and watch. For the majority of the time, I take, I've taken it all. I've taken it all for the organization, the football team, and anybody else that dealt with the Cleveland Browns.